Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time since I sat down in front of a camera and actually talked to you guys and I'm super excited to be filming this finally. I wanted to sit down and give you guys an update on everything that's been going on and then just let you guys know what my plans are for the future of this channel. I took a pretty long break. Um, at first it wasn't intentional. I was just extremely sick. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm suffering from hypothyroidism, but also just a lot of things going on with my body and my immune system. Um, I'm well aware that my immune system is very compromised. My doctor is also aware of it, and we are working on it. Um, we keep balancing out the levels of the vitamins and supplements and medication I take to see if we can figure out a good balance to get me back to what I used to be. But um, while I'm going through all of that, I have been getting sick nonstop. So I've had stomach viruses and the flu and bronchitis and sinus infections and just so many different things going on with my body. And when I'm sick like that, obviously I'm not really in the mood to film, so that kind of took a back burner. And then um, just when I tried to get back into the swing of things, I obviously took some time off because I needed to focus on getting my house back together and my routine and schedule back together. And then I ju it just became an intentional break. Um, probably for the last two weeks. Um, I've been filming a few things here and there, but I decided intentionally to not do anything on YouTube. I sat down with my YouTube notebook. I got this from the YouTube Mommy Meetup collab camp last year, and I just wrote down notes and ideas and things of what I want to do and what direction I want to take my channel in. Um, over the years, I've been not so consistent. I got to one point where I was very consistent, but um, I had videos going out. It just it wasn't a consistent. Um, they weren't consistent topics. I felt like I did a lot of vlogs. I did just like random things here and there, all things that interest me and things that I like to watch, um, which is what I try to stick to because I feel like that's me and I don't want to be untrue to who I am but I wanted to come up with a schedule I've been I've talked to so many experienced youtubers um, at the YouTube mommy meetup club camp and also um, we spoke with a YouTube exec and I've just just from the things I've noticed and learned and researched about YouTube um, having an actual set schedule is very um, convenient and it's actually very good for your channel because people know what to expect on what days and if they're not into one topic they might be into another so they'll come see you on one day and not the other and I I don't know it just clicked for me like I schedule everything else out I have a routine for everything else why don't I have that for YouTube all of that to say I have come up with a schedule for my channel I am sorry that I've been MIA. Like I said, I've been sick. We've been busy. Um, Junior's in full-fledged baseball like mode now. We have games three times a week, um, practices in between. So that's crazy. Kaylee's is still doing her dance and gymnastics and Girl Scouts, and I'm the troop leader, and we're just busy. Cookie season just is about to finish. So it's just a lot of things have been going on, and then put on top of that that I've been sick, it just doesn't it's not a good formula to be able to have time to do things like YouTube and stuff. But I have filmed and I do have a few videos that are going to be up a little late, like Easter. I did film a little bit of our Easter. We had a great Easter. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a few pictures from Easter. Um, I do post on Instagram very often. So if you would like to follow me, I will put my screen name right down here so you can go ahead and follow me. And um, yeah, 
We also just recently, um, our spring break was last week, so we just got back from spring break. We went to Hawaii to see our family again. I did not film. I made the personal choice to just relax and enjoy my vacation um, without much technology. I didn't go on my phone much. I so I made that choice um, to just... I just decided not to vlog it. We had did a lot of fun things. I faced one of my biggest fears, which is birds. I've always had a fear of birds, but I, we took a family portrait and I held a parrot on my shoulder, which I feel like is, I can't even believe I did it. Um, I'll insert a picture of that. We had a great time. We went to a luau. We visited the beach. Um, we just enjoyed our time there and enjoyed our time with our family, which is there. My anxiety. I have always suffered with anxiety. Um, I didn't know it was anxiety when I was much younger, um, but I've always been an anxious per person. It makes me nervous to be in many social situations unless I'm with someone I feel safe with um, and just even like public speaking, things like that. I've always had a little bit of anxiety towards that. It got much worse when my sister passed away and um, it is now basically the worst it's ever been. Um, I My anxiety attacks range from having to rock back and forth and breathe deeply because I feel like I can't breathe and my chest is tightening up to um, bouts of rage and <laughs> it's, it's very bad. I'm trying to control it. Um, what I mean by bouts of rage is there is actually like having an anxiety attack to the point where I just get angry and I just start yelling and it's not for anything that would normally make me mad I just um anger takes like my anxiety takes the form of anger and it's very embarrassing um I hate to do that especially with my kids and my husband because I love them dearly they're everything to me and some it's not something I can control but I'm trying very very hard to do it and it's a personal thing I don't talk about it a lot um, people in my life don't know much about it um, but I'm starting to learn that I need to express that I'm feeling anxious before it gets to that point and um, I think I'm doing a little better but my anxiety is on high right now so um, that is another reason why I decided to just take that extra break from YouTube because I wanted to get it more in check and I'm feeling much better now. I've gotten my routines back and my routines really helped me. My lists, my routines, planning, oh, and my planner's right back here. Um, just all of that helps me to deal with the anxiety. So moving on, what to expect in the future. So for my channel, like I said, I've decided to make a schedule and this will be my schedule for Monday we will have Monday meals what this means is that I am going to start sharing our dinners that we have for the whole week prior on every Monday um, I did this a few times in the past and I I enjoy watching these I enjoy seeing what other people eat so I figured I'd share it. Now that doesn't mean that every Monday is just going to be our dinners. Sometimes I might share what I ate in a day, um, maybe the kids lunches, what the kids ate in a day, things like that. But for the most part it will just be our dinner meal. So on Tuesday I've decided to call it Tuesday Tips. On this day I will share with you mom tips, life hacks, um, dog owner tips, wife tips, just tips, things that come to my mind. These will probably be pretty short videos, but they will be tips um, or things to motivate you. So I might do like an organization video on this day, um, or I might sit down and talk to you about ways that you can, um, creative ways to discipline your children. Uh, it, it'll be things like that. So Tuesday tips. And then Wednesday will be what's for dinner Wednesday. And every Wednesday I'm going to share with you guys a meal, um, a recipe. It will mostly probably be dinner meals, but sometimes I might share with you a dessert or a lunch, breakfast. Um, basically it'll be recipes, but I'm calling it what's for dinner Wednesdays. Um, for Thursdays, I've reserved that day for Coffee Date Thursdays. If you don't know what Coffee Date Thursday is, it is a collab that I do with a bunch of other wonderful YouTube ladies, and we 
ch uh, choose a prompt for every week and we film about that prompt. So I've reserved that day for Coffee Date Thursday. Now that's not to say that I'm going to do every Coffee Date Thursday. So on the weeks where the prompt that's chosen for Coffee Date Thursday isn't so Coffee Date Thursday isn't something that I relate to. I will most likely put out either a organization or um, vlog type video. Um, not sure when, maybe even a tag. I'm not sure what days I will be doing which, but for Thursdays, I reserve that day for Coffee Date Thursday. And then for Friday, I am calling that Family Friday, and that is going to be the day that I share vlogs. Um, I love filming vlogs but I don't think I could do it daily, so I figured Friday would be my vlog day. Um, it could be a vlog from a week before, it could be a vlog from the day before, um, but Friday is my vlog day. For Saturday and Sunday, I did not schedule any type of video for that day. For those days, I've decided to give myself weekends off. That's not to say I won't be filming on weekends, and that's not to say that I would never have any videos on weekends. I might do, I was kind of playing with the idea of doing shopping haul Saturdays, so, um, and then Sunday fun days where it would just be a fun video on Sunday. So those videos might happen maybe like once every two weeks or once a month or something like that but i'm not going to put that as part of my schedule those will be extras but if you've noticed i am planning to have one video every weekday for my channel and i think that that will be manageable and i think it will be fun and i think i'll enjoy it and i'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it as well the other exciting thing that's happening is that my kids kaylee's and kelvin jr k squared that's why i am k squared mom have decided that they want to start their own channel so they do have a channel already it is my old youtube account where we have some videos very bad quality videos of them when they were very little and it is k squared kids and i will link it below and they are going to start filming their own videos and uh, my husband and i will be helping them edit them and we will be coming up with a schedule for them and posting videos over there now we haven't decided when we're going to start exactly but if you're interested in seeing my cute kids and their videos, or maybe your kids are interested in watching them, I will link that down below and go ahead over there and subscribe and show them some love. They're very excited. They've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for so long. Um, I chose to wait a little while and make sure that it was something they really wanted since they're young. But they are now seven and eight years old and they have voiced that they really, really want to do this. So I am going to go ahead and let them do that. All right guys, so that's everything I have for you today. Like I said, I am sorry I took such a long break, but I am ready to jump right back into this and have a video for you every weekday and some weekends. And I really hope that you guys um, stick around and if you aren't already please hit the subscribe button down below and show me that you are ready for this journey with me give me a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to leave me a comment I love interacting with you guys and commenting with you guys I haven't been the best about it during my break but now that I'm back I'm ready and I'd love to just start conversation with you guys so what do you guys think of my schedule is there anything that you would recommend I change any type of videos you want to see that maybe I didn't mention doing definitely let me know down below and yeah well thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video which will be a coffee date Thursday tomorrow bye guys it is packed shredded paper and it says I feel like a kid passing a note. <laughs>